You already know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Andrew Tate, you up the bat. Wow. It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water, man. You already know what it is. The kids to be free in 2023. Kids to be free in 2023. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. We back with another reaction. Y'all wanted me to check out Andrew Tate, man, the motivational bag, and we got conquer the world. I'm interested to see what he's talking about when you talk about conquering the world. But let's go ahead and get into it. Fire Squad, what's popping? A lot of people doubt themselves because they're incompetent. Mm. You'd have to be a megalomaniac to not doubt yourself if you're an incompetent individual, right? If you're an idiot or you're crap or you're shit at things, of course you're going to doubt yourself because you should, because you fail all the time. The only way you're going to start to not doubt yourself is if you show some competence, if you grow into a competent individual and perpetually succeed, That's as real. I do. I don't doubt myself because I never fail. So why would I doubt myself when I've never failed? That's Whereas real. if all I did was fail all of the time, mm -hmm. of course I'm going to doubt myself. So your mentality is heavily linked to your reality that's right. and the fact that oh, most man. your mentality is heavily linked to your reality what they say as a man think of so is he i'm just saying that was a bar people have such weak mindsets comes from the fact that they have a weak life mm. a weak body a weak mm. social circle a weak network a weak bank mm. account a mm. weak relationship mm. and then their mind is weak well of course whereas if you had a group of soldiers around you men who were dedicated who would wow. ride or die with you if you were strong, if your woman would never leave you no matter what because she idolizes you, then your mentality would be strong. Your mind mm. would be strong by extension. Mm. Every fucking day, I don't feel like doing things that I still do. That's real. It's called discipline. It's called being right. a man. It's not about feeling like doing it. If you only do things you feel like doing, you know what you end up doing? What? You end up sitting around with a <laughs> belly, drinking soya fucking latte bullshit. That's what you end up doing if you only do what you feel like doing. That's real. You have to wake up and say, I don't feel like training, but I must train. Right. You need to do what you're supposed to do, right. not what you feel like fucking doing. Right. That's the difference between a man and a fucking child. You do not become a man doing what you feel like doing. You become a man doing what you're supposed to fucking do. Let yeah, me real. tell you something about helping people. You can't help anyone that's gonna help themselves. So this is another very key point. People try and come to me all the time and say, oh, I need help. No, they don't need help. They, they, they want to try and externalize all of the willpower because they have none of it themselves. Wow. With, oh, I lack motivation. If you want to quit, right? Yeah. You can't help people who don't want to help themselves. That's real. People say this kind of shit all the time, like with motivation. Oh, I don't have motivation to go to the gym. If you don't have motivation, to go and be strong, then stay weak and fuck off. Like, what do you want me to do? It's true. Like, so you can't. You can. There's an age-old adage: you can take, a, you can drag a horce to water, but you can't force mm -hmm. it to drink. Force it. It's drink. true. Yeah. It's 100 percent true. People, I really believe the universe is ultimately giving. I've never seen anybody or any experience in my life where somebody has dedicated their all and tried their very best to something and not had it. I've mm. never seen somebody. Maybe correct me, right? You'll know even better than me. I've never seen somebody who eats right trains twice a day like an animal, never misses a gym session, diet on point, does everything they're supposed to do and not be strong. I've never that's, seen that's it. Guy, I just can't get in shape. That's real. not trying. Government. It's just people walking into a room and saying things. Business. It's just people walking into a room and saying things. Everything is just people walking into rooms and saying things. So if I want to have money, I need to find the right room and the right people. That's what I wanted to do. So my life plan was always understanding I need a network. Mm. I put the war room together once I was already rich because the war room is what I Man, a lot of people try to do it by themselves. He lets you know you need a strong team around you. You need a network of people. That's very smart. A lot of people think they can do it on their own, but you need a collective of like-minded people. That's very true. I was looking for when I was poor. When I was poor, I was trying to find a network of motivated individuals, some ultra wealthy, some on their way up that I could join so I could learn and do right. what they do or network with them or help some of them. And, and start to get my way out, but I couldn't find it. So I did it all the hard way by knocking everybody out and traveling the world and meeting rich people that way. Mm. But that's how I did it, to fight. But I've always understood that you, your net worth is your network, right? It's who you know, who you talk to, what you talk about. That's right. how the world works, that's how it's always worked. So right. I always had a plan. My plan was to network with the kind of people who were living the life I wanted to live. And that, that's not an easy thing to do, but at least I knew what I was trying to do. Most people right. don't even know what they're trying to do. They're just living life when they get depressed, 
they take a pill or they eat some ice cream and they, if they're bored, they put on Netflix or play a video game and, and that's it. A lot of people can fall off when they celebrate, right? I did yes. this, blah, 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 and they fall off, right? right. Yep. So I, I don't fall off because what I do, and this is gonna really, this is what really upsets everybody, but it's been an absolute key to my success. So I refuse to apologize. What I love to do is I love to fucking talk about it. Because if I talk about my success, it doesn't take much of my time. It doesn't really, I can't really fall off. It's not like I've run around on a, a, a vodka binge, you know, trying to celebrate. I just love to talk about it. I love to tell people, hey, guess what? This happened, this happened, this happened. I think I might be able to do this, this, and this next. And if you're surrounded by the right kind of people, they want to listen. Right. If the people around you go, I don't care, then you shouldn't be mm. talking to them anyway. Wow. Like me and all my friends, I say this all the time, me and all my friends, all we talk about is money. You're savage. If, if you're in a room, Full of, let me ask you, if you walk into a room and there's five men in there and those five men are the best ice cream makers in the world and you talk to them every single day, within a few months, you're going to know how to make ice cream. <laughs> right. By hook or by crook, right? You're going to yeah. learn about ice cream, how to store it, how to make it, what, what, how to make the colors, how to make the flavors, because all they talk about is ice cream. Mm -hmm. If the people you meet and talk to only talk about money, mm. guess what? You're going to learn how to make money. Right. So I, I love to talk about my successes and I love to talk to other people who learn, who like to listen and talk about their successes. And That's then real. You, you get a spiral because everyone understands that a downward spiral is real. Everyone's discussed and understood the downward spiral. Right. People don't understand an upward spiral. An upward <sighs> this dude be dropping facts. This dude, hey, you know the one end of the spectrum, but it's the opposite end too. Just like it's momentum going in the wrong direction, you can have momentum going in the positive direction. A lot of people don't talk about that, bro. He on some shit. Spiral is just as real as a downward spiral. Right. My entire life was an upward spiral. I became kickboxing world champion. It made me a little bit of money, but not that much money. I had a whole bunch of girls who adored me because I'm a kickboxer. They all want to, they're from all around the world. I moved them all to London. I had a big apartment. They started webcamming. I made millions of dollars. Then I bought a casino. It's all just an upward spiral for me. And that's just, you know, the energy in a positive direction all the time. And if I ever sat there and tried to talk to somebody about money or business ideas, or whatever, and they were uninterested, then I was uninterested in talking to them. You know what I mean? So mm. that's the whole goal is like global domination. That's what I'm mm. teaching. And inside of that network, every single Sunday, every single Sunday, all of us talk about everything we've achieved that week. That's all we do. I did this, I did this, I did this, you did this, you did this. And a, and a bunch of ideas, a bunch of business ideas, loads stems from that. So a lot of mm -hmm. people don't even have a place they can positively talk about something gr great they've done. That's real. Because then they're seen as arrogant, right? Oh, right. he's bragging. He's bragging. He's boring. Why doesn't he just want to watch Netflix with the rest of us? <laughs> man, man, man. And, and that's the price you're going to pay if you're an exceptional individual, right? Mm. The mediocre people are going to get upset. Well, that's you real. know, a whole bunch of people hate me, my friend. But I'm driving my Ferrari on my way to pick up my Bugatti, and I don't care. So that's, that's how the world works. Everybody knows something you don't. Right. Everybody. Right. So like, I'm, I'm, I'm a multimillionaire. I'm a rich guy, right? I'm supposed to be a money guy. I'm in the war room. They're talking about things I've never even heard of. They're talking about decentralized finance with cryptocurrencies, and you can stake USD stall, uh, stable coins at 25% a year. This was only yesterday. I was like, what, you get 25% APR a year? They're like, yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, but doesn't the currency fluctuate? Bitcoin goes up and down. He goes, no, you put it in stable coins. You can put it in a coin that's linked to the US dollar, so it doesn't go up and down. So I'm mm. saying, you're telling me I put a million dollars in this, I get 200 grand a year, residual for free, guaranteed, and I can't lose my money? They're like, yeah. So like, I, I'm learning shit. Mm. Like, if you're around people who know things, you're gonna learn things. You're completely right. You never know at all. And yeah. that's all the world is. It's people walking into rooms and talking to each other. You need to be talking to the right people all the time and you're gonna learn new things that's the thing about the way i talk and the things i say some people find it inspirational and some people are, are upset by it and allows and their ego prevents them from learning from it if mike tyson walks in here and tells you he's going to teach you how to box and says you can't fight you're a pussy if that upsets you then you can't learn right it's mike tyson just shut up and listen you don't become the master unless you're very very good at being a student that's real and i've always been very very good at knowing when to shut up that's no, real. nobody knows everything and there's yeah. still a lot of people who i respect and will always respect and always am quiet around and, and treat with that absolute respect but i've been learning for a very very long time i've always mm. been very very observant trying to pay a lot of attention right and and life really doesn't have to be that complicated when you see somebody that has something you want you just gotta try and work out how they got it. Yeah. Right. And that's the missing part. Most people see people with things they want and they don't do the, the second half. They don't try and work out how they got that thing. Right. Oh, my man has a Ferrari. Okay, 
I wish I had a Ferrari. Okay. They don't sit there and go for an hour. How did he get a Ferrari? Right. It doesn't cross that. That part is the part they don't want to do, right? They just go, oh, he has a Ferrari. Wish I had a Ferrari. And they go back to TV. Yeah. And that's why they lose. <laughs> You're existing inside of a system which is deliberately rigged to make the rich richer and for the poor to stay poor. Yeah. And for you can sit there and get upset about it. You can sit there and cry about it and say the system needs to change, which is what some people do, socialists, X, Y, Z. But I think that's not I think. I know that's a waste of time, right? That's futile. The best thing to do is to understand the rules of the game and find a way to win. That's real. So, yes, the game is rigged. Yes, the this richer are always going to be richer. Yes, the poor are always going to struggle. And that's the way the game is set up. So you still need to find the best move on the chessboard. There's no point sitting there saying, I want to play a different game because that's never going to happen. Because the people with the money are the people who have the control and they have the power. And why would they have the game set up any other way? Why would they change it? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. It's also the basic of economics. I think a lot of people don't understand the true basics of economics. And the basics of economics state that even giving money to the poor, it ends up back in the hands of the rich. There's no wow. way to stop the rich getting richer. I've wow. already explained this before. But... I remember during COVID when they did the stimulus checks and they passed out all this free money to everyone, a thousand. In England, they gave a lot more money, but in America, everyone got like $1,400 each and everyone was happy about it, saying, oh, he's giving money to the poor. Yeah, but what do those poor people spend that money on? Right. Either, well, Amazon stock tripled. But the fact is that there's less companies than there are people. All those $1,400 checks amongst all those people at the bottom ended up getting, ended up in the hands of a few companies and the rich got richer and you can't stop it. Mm. Doesn't matter if those people invested their money, doesn't matter if they mm. bought stocks, doesn't matter if they bought crypto, doesn't matter if they bought a house, whatever. The people who have the assets and have the companies and have the control are always gonna end up getting control of the currency and they're always gonna be richer. So that's yeah. kind of how it works. You have to be positioned to take advantage of opportunities. Yeah. Right. It's like in chess, they say, uh, good moves come from good positions. It's true, you can't find a good move from a terrible position, right? Mm. If you're sitting at home with no money, it's hard to invest. You can't find a good move from a terrible position. If you are poor, you are dependent and beholden on a company or a government or somebody else to give you money and to feed you, which means mm. you are not allowed your own individualistic sovereign ideas. You must obey the ideas that they want you to believe or they cut off your money. This is why the people who are in charge of the world talk about being good people and wanting to give out money and the government should help and give money give money they want you dependent because if you're dependent you're not allowed to think that's why it's not because they care about you mm -hmm. it's not because they want to help you it's because they want you dependent so you're not allowed to think for yourself it is all a scam you cannot break free from the matrix without money you need to become obsessed with learning how to make money. It is ultimately important. Andrew Tate conquered the world, bro. This dude be speaking some real shit. I don't know about his personal life. I don't know what he into. I don't know what's going on with him. I don't know nothing of that shit. But all I know is y'all wanted me to check him out, check out some of his motivational stuff. And he talking, bro, he be talking some real shit. Network, the the momentum that you can have on a down, downward spiral, you can have the same momentum going upward and having so many successes and having so many things that's working in your favor. This dude, like, I like the way he think, getting around and getting in the rooms of the people that you want to be like, or the successful people, talking about ideas and just having the right people around you, the right network, the right team of people, the right mindset. He on to something. This dude is on to something, man. But you already know, man. Drop your comments below. Also, hit that subscribe button. It's your boy, Laid Back, Self Love and Positivity. Till next time, Fire Squad, I got you. You know it. Hey. hey.